Hey there, and welcome back to part two of importing a model from a website into Planet Coaster. Okay, so in the last episode we did some scaling, and what we're going to do now is actually manipulate the mesh so it's in a pose. So we can actually get a statue pose. Most of your models will come in with T pose. In the end of the last lesson, I had an Eric model that was broken, so what I've gone and done is I've just found a Moana model importing exactly the same technique but with the smoothing applied and this time because it's not a broken model the smoothing has gone as you see she's got nice soft curves there's no pixelation squares showing what I didn't do was I didn't actually set and save the scaling so if you notice over here we've got some variations in the location particularly in the rotation the scale and the dimensions so what we want to do is do control a clicking in the main screen and do rotation and scale and control A again just click on location and that just ensures that we're good to go from here on in. Okay to get the pose I found this nice image of her which just seems to be like the iconic image of Moana so we know we're going to have to spread her legs bring her arms down and perhaps tilt her head a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is Go into wireframe mode and then into edit mode. Okay. Then if we I always get this wrong, if you hold control in the mouse wheel and then push your mouse forward, you can actually scroll in quite nicely. We don't want all of her selected, we're just going to do one piece at a time. So we know we want the arms. So if you then control tab and choose vertex and then C to, to paint and then you're literally just going to paint over the areas that you want to move. Actually I'm thinking ahead I'm going to do her hand shape first and then I'll do. So to deselect what you've, you've got you just hold the shift that key down and then you can unselect what you don't need. Okay, so um, I'm going to work on the thumb first, so I'm just going to do a reselection. The thumb we just want to tuck it because it's in a in a fist. We want to tuck the thumb into the the fist. So I'm just trying to get the pieces that we need. And um, because we're going to go that way, we're going to rotate. So hit the R and then hit the Z straight away. And turn it in. And then just move it over. And now we want to rotate on the x-axis and it's easy if you just do it like that. It needs to come up a bit now because it's it always tends to go out on some of the other axes when you're doing it like this. And, okay, and then I'm just going to nudge this vertice in a little bit just so that that edge of the knuckle of the thumb is nice and smooth. This will be the longest of the videos. Um, but this one is literally just going to, if you do watch it and you're new, the repetition of it all should help sink in. So I've selected what I want to move again. I might just take you as well. Oh gosh. Z to un uncheck. Sorry go back a step and I'm going to rotate on the Y axis so R, Y, I've got um, that still selected so C, Shift, Deselect and then R, Y and you can see on the Z axis it's gone up too far and on the X axis it's gone out too far so now we do that. 
A to D select, C again, and then paint the ones you want to move. Just check you've got everything. And then on the Y axis again, so it's R, Y, rotate, bring up on the Z axis because it's gone out, and over on the X axis, deselect. So that's one fist done. Let's go and do the other fist as well. As you see, I am absolutely appalling at getting my camera in the right place. Same again, we're going to move the thumb, so C on the Z, so we're going to rotate it on the Z axis, so R, Z, bring it round, don't worry, we'll collect, correct that one afterwards, and then on the X axis, so R, X, and just bring that over. Let's get sort out. So, C, click on just the one vertice and bring that in. We've got so A to D select. I'm just going to take these two here and move them in. Oops. And that'll do. That's, I'm happy with that. So, Remember it's A to D select or A to select everything. Then C to hit hit the paintbrush and select your vertices you want to manipulate. Then right click and hit R. And then we want to rotate on the Y axis. So rotate it, bring it down on the Z and in on the X. A to D select, C to paint, check we've got everything we want, I think possibly those two there are a bit too high so I'm going to do C, shift and D select those. And we're going to rotate on the Y again, so R, Y, bring it over, and then A to D select. Now we're going to bring the arms, we're going to start with the actual downward of the whole of the arm first. So C to paint and when you're doing it from this point you want to take from just under the armpit and you can see where the cut is, you want to be on the first vertices away from that otherwise you'll end up with a hole. Okay and then we know we've checked because we're selecting everything so we're just going to rotate round C again, shift to deselect, and then just deselect everything we don't want to move. Let's just make sure we've got a, a little bit more there. And one more little crafty one there. Okay, so again, we're going to go on the Y axis, so R, Y, and don't worry about these bits that are stretching out. Just look at getting the line of the angle of the arm you want, and then you can correct this by doing bringing it down on the Z, in on the X. And I might just bring up an inch. So you just tweak it. Don't worry if these bits go inside the model. What you, you really need to concentrate is the shoulder bit. The shoulder bit looks more natural. Okay, that's that bit. I'll just do shift and middle mouse well to pull it up. And then we're going to bring this part in. So again, it's going to be on the Y axis. So R, Y, and then that's possibly too much on the Y axis. So, 
control Z to undo or Y whoops just do a tiny bit this time then and that looks good and you can see it went out slightly on here so you have to make just tweak the other axes to make sure you get it right just check on all the angles before you confirm it and confirm is you literally just normally left click okay I'm going to stop the video here because this will take forever otherwise I'm literally just going to go in point by point and changing the limbs so I hope that helps I will see you in the next video where we will look at the texture files